You know, I got here and they treated me like they own, like quick. If you see somebody's coming up, you need to start or drop back. If they're coming all the way, you need to stand up and don't let them score. And I just got news that I had um I had tore my ACL and I fully tore my meniscus. How do you really go forward from here? Like mentally it makes you strong because like I just gotta keep going, you know. Cut down rolls, cut down rolls. Go back to that corner, go back to that corner. Dominant hand chop, so I get active. At. Tough take, tough take. Know where you going, bro? Kind of reset, reset, reset that, reset that, reset that. Let's go. Test it, test it. Time to get that work in. Control, boy. Oh, you're not. I, I saw you this summer. You're not doing that in the game. Come in, sir. What? Oh, oh, good shot. Uh, I stay on that wing. Stay on that wing. All right, let's go. Boom. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Curl to the rim. Good, wait, boom. So look, here, you go to the wing. Once you're coming up, you're gonna be cut because you have a defense, you gotta bring them down. The way y'all moving, it's like, y'all don't even know what y'all doing. It's just a motion. Good, cut to the basket. We got two sprints so far, okay? So, one, two, all right? All right, it's good, bro. This is driven, and it's the best program in South Florida. Yes, yeah, sir, what? Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, best defensive player, class of 27. Facts, know that, know that, know that. What is that? It's in Hollywood. So, I mean, I live like 10 minutes from Hollywood, so I saw that. You got me at a vulnerable time. <laughs> so boom, this is my first ever game about to coach and um this is gonna be a cool experience, I'm not gonna lie. Got them boys right there. Right now we only got five players, but this is for the team that we have, that we work in partner with Elite Skills, which is um, driven. Y'all boys ready to get a dunk? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see how it go. Hey, yo, the pace on be wide open. That's your board, go That's your board, go Back out now. Ah, tough shot. Good board. Hey, grab the board and come down. You trying to get back. That pace should not be wide open. Where the hole? Where's the hole? Why is the paint wide? Hey, Tom, 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 Tom. Come on, come on, come on. I got you. We're going to go back into three. What y'all need to realize is Y'all in man, and nobody's playing healthy. Right. Nobody's playing healthy, so y'all getting y'all getting blown by. Nobody's playing healthy. Yeah, we gotta go back. To we can't leave it all on Josh to go play hell, right? Literally. So we going back in three, yeah. Two three, two three, two three. Yeah. Right here, right here. There you go. Hey, space that floor, Josiah. Set him one. Give him one. Give him one. Ah. Why nobody boxing? It's only one person boxing. We in three. We in three. Go tell you now. Hey, we in three. Three down, two up. He can't guard you. He can't guard you. He can't guard you, Josiah. That's money. Come on, boy. The talking, Joel. 
you coming all over the place with this. Your zone is up here. Let me go one way. How do you feel about the loss? <sighs> Last game, it was the same thing. Turnover is not box boxing out. Like we we just they just need some discipline and spacing. They literally just remind me of ninth grade, bro. Eighth graders, ninth graders. Like it's only so much you could you could do. But if they are not gonna listen, it's kind of like what can you do? But once once they listen. Everything changes because they have the potential to be great. You know what I mean? It's like it's like simple stuff, like you said, boxing out, talking, rotating. Yeah. Players being able to realize what they're capable of and how good they could be at it. But if they don't even see it, it's and it's hard. It's just they're so like they're so raw. Like they don't they don't have enough game experience to know about like spacing and the or team like, changes like every week or like pace or like things like that you know what i'm saying like they don't have enough experience yet to understand that and this is where they teach them like this these games is where they learn how to do that or understand how to be great basketball players how to be that that person on the team that loves to be played with yeah. and not quitting on the team right we're gonna get it though it's part of the journey yeah everybody goes through it Together. We boxed out to hold the team to like 34 points. I think that's pretty good. Love the group I got. I love the group I got because everybody genuinely has potential to grow. That's, that's the best part about it. I feel like I could do a better job at, you know, assigning or giving the guideline to the players of this is what I'm putting you in for. Let's build everything off of that being a little more in instructional and execution for them. Because, like, you know, Roosevelt had a great game. But at times, Roosevelt, it looked like he didn't know what to do in terms of offensive, offensive placement and spacing. I remember uh, we had taken out Roy so that we tried to, we tried to run the same play. And I think it was for Roosevelt, but Roosevelt was so used to, like, being on the, on the wing that he didn't, he didn't run the corner. So... I think managing that and like trying to uh, trying to direct everybody, and then um, no, nah, but like for real, like I'm I'm proud of them. Like we lost the first game by 25. We lost the second game by like 20 something as well, and then to like still come today and fight, you know. Like mentally, it makes you strong because it's like, I just got to keep going, you know? Like we stuck together, like, like that's that's super important. Like as a team, like you could, like players could easily just be like, oh, we're going to lose. Like I'm not, now I'm just going to get my own shots now. But like you really saw like everybody trying to like really be together and like share, share the ball and try to score as a team rather than just one individual going one-on-one -on -one or one individual just trying to um, do it all himself. How did them boys go? Bro, honestly, I'm not even bugging right now.
Like, I love this basketball, bro. Like, I was in the, I was in the office yesterday talking to uh, Coach. Uh, First year going to Xavier, I was playing basketball, you feel me? And it was cool or not, and I got hurt. And like, that kind of like set me back a little bit as far as like, like where I was trying to be at by my freshman year. So I had got a PCL injury that kind of like pushed me back as far as like, I don't even know how to explain it. But mentally, though, it messed me up. I was thinking about quitting basketball. Yesterday, I had visited, I believe it's called my orthopedic, and I just got news that I had, um, I had tore my ACL. I had tore my ACL, and I fully tore my meniscus. So it's like, how do you really go forward from here? You know, I think that's just gonna reveal more of the type of person I am in this situation than anything. You know. Things happen, and God let me know, like, your time ain't up there. They was open arms, like, they, you know, I got here, and they treated me like they don't, like, quick. So, you know, as far as me right now, the position I'm in, and going forward, I feel like I'm gonna be all right. And I feel like they gonna really, you know, start me up, start up my college career. So I'm just gonna ask myself, which one, how do I wanna go forward knowing this? Knowing I'ma have surgery, knowing I'ma have rehab, knowing I can't play right now with the boys I wanna work with, knowing I can't go 100, knowing that there's opportunities right now, but maybe God just wants to show me something else that will better prepare me for that. You know, maybe even this is what he wants me to focus on right now. Maybe providing opportunities for others is what he wants me to focus on. Maybe, maybe it's something else he wants me to see, but I'm just trying to still be consistent. That's, that's, that's been the, the goal of the whole year. Be consistent, and I'm glad I got my dog away. You know, like I said, iron sharper iron. You know, you got you got that one twin that's gonna push you or be up with you. It's like you going through the fire together. You feel me? Oh, like he be pushing me, like you know what I'm saying. Like when I want to get up at six in the morning, he be you feel me? Wake up, wait. So like, I feel like God put him in my life for a reason. Cause like that been my boy from like KNC days, but we ain't never really get close to like, you know, I got the FIU. And I'm kind of like glad I got somebody like that to push me, you know, and just, you know, iron sharper iron, so.